Hey guys, Ivan here, and tonight or today or whatever time it is right now in your part of the world, I'm gonna upload a couple of videos, two at least, and I'm gonna talk about all kinds of things that happen in bodybuilding world right now. And in this video today, I'm gonna focus on Sean Roden, but I am gonna upload a few more videos about all kinds of things that happen in bodybuilding industry today. So stay tuned, subscribe so you don't miss out on any videos. Anyways, first let's talk about Sean Roden, and guys, I spent the entire day scrolling on my Instagram account, refreshing it, checking YouTube, checking websites, trying to find any more new information about Sean Roden, but I'm not gonna lie to you. So I'm just gonna tell you, I don't really have a lot, but I do have some information that you may have not heard yet. At least I didn't talk about it on my channel. So first of all, we all know that Sean Roden is accused of rape. Whether it is true or not true, whether he's innocent or guilty, Mr. Olympia LLC revoked his eligibility to compete at the Mr. Olympia competition ever again, or at least until he's out of the process. Or should I say until and if it is ever proven that he is not guilty. Is he guilty or not? We can only speculate. I can see that many people are actually supporting him. They're talking trash about Mr. Olympia management, that they are not right to take away his eligibility to compete. And uh, it's, I don't know what's my take on it pretty much, because I understand them. Those people are trying to run the business, first of all. They don't want the Mr. Olympia to be associated with sexual assaults, right? And the other thing is, Mr. Olympia is not just a business. If you look at it from another angle, it's like the biggest thing that happens in bodybuilding world, in the history of bodybuilding. For a long time now, it's, it's more than just a competition. And they don't want their representative to be a rapist, right? But at this point, nobody knows anything, basically. Sean Rodden still did not speak about it. He's probably in, in jail right now, I can just assume. I mean, the arrest warrant was issued on Thursday, so he's probably under arrest currently. And the thing that I wanted to mention that you maybe don't know is that the bail bond is $750,000, almost a million dollars. And that big of a bail bond means that they have probably some hard evidence. So what kind of hard evidence could they have? And if you take a look at this report right here, it says that the nurse who conducted the exam said the accuser had a laceration on her vagina, which is something that prosecutors in sexual assault cases usually look for to support a rape claim. Basically, you can see, there is evidence, pretty much. So his DNA, him being in the same room with her, and also this thing about her vagina. So it's pretty clear, they have a lot of evidence right now. I mean, we still have no idea what really happened. Maybe it just was some kind of rough sex. I mean, those lacerations could happen because of that. I guess it's possible, why not? And uh, maybe it was just a casual intercourse with consent, but who the hell knows? Who the hell knows what happened? There is another thing, guys. I made this video and now I'm editing it because somebody sent me this post on Instagram and it is apparently some of Sean Rodden's fans and this person says, I 100% support my friend Sean Flexitron Rodden through his challenge. Sean is a great friend. He loves his daughter very much. Many do not realize that he is not married. So apparently Sean is actually not married. I didn't know this. Now I guess I do. But he does have a child with a girlfriend. But let me keep reading this. Uh, he also says that uh, he has been on and off separated with his girlfriend for over 10 months. 10 months? I had no idea. But I guess it's just his private life. Who cares about it? I guess now we do. But I guess some gossiping can hurt. <laughs> Also, he says uh, he's a humble and private person, we all know that. He never gets angry and has no aggressive tendencies. This seems like him. He also says that accusations are absurd, especially coming from a married couple and known fraudsters. Huh. So apparently this woman is known as a fraudster. Huh. That's interesting. And he also says that... Uh, I have known Sean for over 20 years and his sign of anger is no more than a deep breath and a big sigh. Which seems like Sean, really. Sean is currently seeking counsel with his pastor and attorney and apologizes for not returning calls. Hang in there, champ, if all they support you in this battle. So yeah, somebody is defending Sean Roden. Somebody gave us a little bit more information. So this is not a lot of information, but it is new information. I'm sure you never heard about this before. 
Now, of course, this is not 100% true. This is just some person, some random person telling us stuff. Maybe this person is lying, but it really doesn't seem like it. If I'm gonna trust my guts, I would say that this is true. It really feels like it, but who the hell knows? Anyways, I understand why Mr. Olympia banned him from competing, because he's accused of being something really, really horrible. And the process is probably gonna last for a long time. It's going to be super expensive. And I don't think Sean Rodden would actually compete, because he has to deal with all this stuff. And maybe he would, because he needs to pay all those bills. But he would probably not be super focused. I mean, let's be real. He probably wouldn't be trying to become the Mr. Olympia once again. And even if they let him compete, I'm sure they wouldn't let him win, actually, even if he looked the best, because they don't want their representative to be even mentioned in any kind of conversation being a rapist. It is just giving Mr. Olympia a horrible reputation. And I'm really curious what Sean Rodden has to say about this. I mean, he probably knows that everybody is talking about him. Every single person in the industry and the comments are stacked. This is like the biggest news of the, not only of the year, but of the past, who knows how many years. The Mr. Olympia accused of rape. And this is like huge. This is, this is, I don't know, I'm just in shock still. I still cannot believe what really happened. And I would really love in the end that this turns out not to be true. That it is just some angry, crazy chick that wants to take his money. Now that he's Mr. Olympia, he probably has a lot more money than before. Or maybe she just wants to ruin his life. Whatever. Whatever is the case, we can just speculate, as I said a million times. We don't know this, but this is what my channel is about, speculating about stuff. And it's also interesting that nothing happened for almost a year. So this incident happened in October 2018. So it's been a long time since then and they're arresting him only now. Why is that? Does anybody have any idea? Does this process really last so long? I don't know. I mean, he probably knew that this was coming. Maybe that's why he was out of shape for a long time. Maybe he didn't even want to compete with the Mr. Olympia because he was expecting this to happen. But since it didn't happen for a long time, maybe, maybe he was hoping it's not going to happen actually. But it happened. It happened and uh, I hope he's not guilty. I hope this is all not true. But we'll see what happens in the end. Anyways, this is really gossiping. It is what it is. <laughs> I'll be honest. I mean, this is just gossiping. But this is what everybody is thinking about right now. All the comments on social media that I see, everybody is talking about Sean Rod and everybody is gossiping. So I wanted to pretty much speak for everybody and give you the platform to talk about this. So tell me what you think about this. Do you think Sean Rodden actually did this? Which would be surprising for me because I never really had the impression that he could be a violent person. This is just mind-boggling. It's gonna take some time for us to actually understand what really happened because... I would never expect this. I never saw something like this coming. And I'm sure nobody would ever guess that Sean Rodden would be able to do something like this. But still, we don't know if he did it. Innocent until proven guilty. But apparently Mr. Olympia doesn't really feel that way. They would rather say guilty until proven innocent because they already revoked his eligibility to compete and he's not going to be able to compete this year or ever unless he proves that he didn't do it. But, you know, his DNA is there. He has been with this person, she has laceration her vagina, so I don't think he can even prove that he didn't do it, even if he didn't do it. So I would say his bodybuilding career is finished, I would say so, unfortunately, really horrible news, and uh, his marriage, probably, his whole life, his whole life is ruined. If he really did this, he should rot in prison, if he didn't do it, I hope this woman will rot in prison and he will be free and everything will be the way it was before. Aside from the moral standpoints, it is also a disaster for the competitive bodybuilding. Without Phil Heath and without Sean Roden, the quality of competitors is not gonna be that high. We're gonna have a brand new top 6 and I'm gonna make another video about this probably later tonight or tomorrow. Anyways guys, whatever your take is on this whole situation, tell me down below. I will read all your comments, and uh, by reading the comments from my previous two videos, I got some ideas, which I said in this video. So if I like what you say, if you have some interesting theories, I'm gonna include them in my future videos. I'm gonna try to reply to as many comments as possible, but I'm gonna read them all, definitely, I always do read them all. And this is it for this video, guys. Please like it, and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on anything else in bodybuilding world that happens every single day. I'm making videos every single day. 
All the best, guys. Bye-bye.